What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Today I've been yard sailing and I did pick up some great stuff that I do see some profit for. But also I wanted to mention in this video, if you guys watched my recent video about uh, Nintendo sending us some extra Nintendo Switch games, I have sold those games. Now, I wish I would have kept them because recently I did pick up some Nintendo Switches and I'm gonna be talking about that and showing those in this video as well. But I did sell the two games, Donkey Kong and Yoshi's Crafted Worlds, for $100 for both. So that's $50 each, that is all profit because Nintendo sent us those games, which was hilarious. So I do have some Switches I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, some other things I'm going to be showing you guys, and then a few things that I did pick up at yard sales today. Let's check these out. So first, I am selling my old uh, Samsung A52. These sell in my area for around $200 to $250. Mine has the cable, extra protectors, the box, a few other things. So I did upgrade and get a new phone, so I do have this that I'm going to be selling very soon locally. We did pick up a Nintendo Switch Lite. I picked up actually both of these Nintendo Switches. The light here, both are factory reset now, but this looks in perfect condition. I paid $150 each for these. These ones here, the lights, usually sell in my area for around $200, so that's about $50 potential profit that I see on this. These sell for much more. These sell in my area for around $300, but I am missing the docking station, so I'm expecting to get hopefully $250. So this one here, I'm selling it. It has a screen protector on it, this clear shell. It does have this really cool case, and the charger, and a couple other accessories as well. So that there was $150. Again, I'm expecting maybe $250 to $300 for this. Now at yard sales today, obviously whenever you're yard sailing, you do have to pick up stuff for yourself whenever you see it, especially whenever it's cheap. This CD was only $2. It's Blink-182 Enema of, a, of the States. This is one that we don't have in our personal collection, and Blink-182, uh, May 15th of last year, uh, that just passed, we actually went to go and see them live in Toronto, and that's the day that I proposed to my girlfriend. Uh, and now fiance, so this just means a lot, and we don't have this in our collection, so now we do. I also picked up this really cheap Stanley Cup figure. It actually has some weight to it, I'm actually surprised. I'm not sure if it's a brand or not, but this here was only 50 cents, which is awesome. So another little addition to my collection. Over here, we do have Minnie Mouse. This here was only $1. I try to look up the year and I don't see it on the tags. However, I didn't realize until after we got home, the kid did put lipstick on her. So I'm not sure. I don't think that'll be able to come off. I'm not sure if it's lipstick or marker, but that was only a dollar, but yeah, that does suck. We do have this larger Winnie the Pooh. Now it did have the tag saying $5. I looked up the tags here. Couldn't find a year, and I didn't notice till we got home it is 2009. So not too old, not older than I, I thought it was going to be way older. But I only paid $2 for this. Going to clean it up a little bit because uh, I, I do like doing that with my plush. But this here, I don't know what it's worth. Hopefully in the ballpark of maybe $10. If my girlfriend, I mean fiance now, uh, doesn't decide to keep it because she does collect anything Winnie the Pooh. But that is going to be checked out. We also did pick up two puzzles here. Now, I usually avoid puzzles altogether. These here were only $2 each. So this is a sealed puzzle, Niagara Falls. And this one here, I only seen the back. I thought you got all of them, but you only get the Boston Marina. Now this one here is used, but all the pieces are supposed to be there. $2 each, I'm gonna be giving those to my grandparents because they absolutely love doing puzzles and that. And then we also do have one item over here this tripod, which was actually free, which was hilarious. Uh, oh, Optex, I'm not sure the brand. It was actually really easy to assemble, but I already have enough tripods. But whenever I, they said it was free, I did try to offer them something for it and they said no. So it did come with this little bag. But yeah, that was really cool that I actually found something for free today. And then 
the bigger ticket items, which I wasn't expecting to be bigger ticket items. First is this chess set. Let's take the cover off here from Radio Shack. Whenever I seen Radio Shack, I decided to look it up. This sells for about $60 on eBay, which I wasn't expecting. Now it is missing one of the pieces here. It's missing this one right here. I didn't test to see if it works yet, but I only paid $5 for it and the sold comps are for $60. So even if it doesn't work, hopefully I'll be able to sell it for parts on eBay. But I thought that was really cool and cheap. And then this here, this little Canon camera, the PowerShot A2000iS. It was only $10, now they said it's like new. And whenever I opened it up, everything is, looks like it's never been used. The CD's still sealed. These are still sealed shut, which is awesome. So I don't think this camera has ever been used. No scratches on the screen, no damage whatsoever. It looks brand new. This sells for just the camera itself, looking up sold comps, is $60 on eBay. Now that's not including if it has everything in the box here like this. So hopefully I'll still be able to sell it for around $60. That's what I'm expecting to get for it. But it's just cool to find that at the last yard sale. So not a lot of stuff today at the yard sales. There's a few community sales that I went to, but sometimes yard sales for me are just hit or miss. There's some that advertised that they had video games and they didn't have any. And that to me just sucked. I did go early enough, so I don't think it was sold. I just think they misled and thought that their kids had video games to put out and they just didn't. I did go to one yard sale, which they had an uh, original PlayStation 3, one of the fat models. Whenever I asked how much, the kid's like, yeah, for everything, 150 which is way higher than they sell for. I looked, it's not the model number A or B, so it's not backwards compatible. So it's not sought after, it's not, uh, doesn't really have much interest, so I would have needed to get it for under $100. But the problem I found with it is it did not have the power cable. They said if I take it and it doesn't work, they'd give me my money back, which at yard sales, you can't trust that ever. So never trust whenever they say that because once you buy it, there's no guarantee you're getting your money back and I wouldn't even risk it. But for stuff like that, I just had to pass on it. Didn't have the power cable. I had no way of testing it because I don't have a fat model in my personal collection, nor do I have one to sell so I can't test it with another cable. So it just, to me, was just not worth my time. But I did find some other very cool stuff today. I just decided not to get it. A lot of stuff, a lot of the sales either in my area, because here in Ottawa, it's just iffy on yard sales, but some of the sales were either really good sales and had a lot of cool stuff, or there was a lot of garbage stuff and it just was not worth stopping at some of them. And some of them I just had to keep driving past because it just looks like they were putting out stuff that should honestly go in the garbage. So it wasn't worth me getting out of the truck to look at those, but we did find some stuff. I'm really excited because I added the Stanley Cup to my collection, the CD to our collection as well, which is great. The two switches, I didn't buy at the yard sales, but I did buy recently, and those are gonna be some great profit. I already listed those, and I have a lot of people messaging for them. And then the Radio Shack chess game, uh, that I was actually shocked, it's about $60. Even with it missing a piece, I should hopefully get around that. And then the camera, I was actually shocked. I did pay $10, but it sells for 60, so that to me is great. So. Some decent profit. I don't know about the plushes, but hopefully we do get some things sold. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.